Hello friends, in this video we are going to see about how to add the pictures in MS Word. First we will see how to insert a picture, then how to edit the picture and the lastly how to delete the picture which we have inserted in our document. So for inserting a picture you have to go to the insert tab. Once you go inside the insert tab you can see here option in the illustration. Just click on that option. Once you click on that one small dialog box opens select the folder where you have stored that picture whichever you want to insert if you open that folder select the picture like this and just insert so wherever you put your cursor that picture will come over there if i'm um, putting my cursor over here and then i'm going to the insert picture and select the picture and it will be inserted over here once you insert the picture in your document this format toolbar opens over here you can see here picture tools and the format so with the help of these options you can format the picture first we will see how to remove the background that means from this picture we can remove the background just select that picture click on the remove background and it will automatically show the option now the some part of that cartoon leg is missing so you can just drag it little bit and then you can click and you can see the background is removed in this way you can remove the background of your picture next thing is the correction now uh, if i want um, to uh, correction in the brightness or the contrast then I have to go to the corrections now on the leftmost side you can see it is a darker version that means the brightness is less and on the right hand side you can see the brightness is more so whichever your requirement just select that option as you move your cursor you can see the preview of that also so on if you want to change the sharpness and the softness of your you can use this and if you want to change the brightness and the contrast you can select this whichever you select just click over there and it will be applied next one is the color now here they are giving an option for a color saturation color tone and the recolor so if you want to recolor your uh, image you can just click on that and it will be recolored so there are more variations available set transparent color is also available and the picture color option is also available so if you want to change the color of your image you can use the color option then there is an artistic one the whichever color you have selected it will be converted into a, that artistic option if you click on the artistic option if you don't want to use that artistic option on this just go to the original image select the artistic option and select any of these like like this a texturized one like this one glow edges only so if you select it it will be applied on this next thing is the compressed picture now if someone wants to send the file through email then he must reduce the size of that file if it contains a image then the size must be a bigger one so for that you have to compress the picture so that the file size or the document size should be smaller for that you have to click on the compress picture once you click over here there is option email just click over there and click ok automatically the size of your images whichever images you have inserted in your document it will get reduced next when you want to just replace the image you have to use the change picture and select another picture you want and it will be replaced with that another picture next one is the reset picture so whichever changes you have made you can reset it just by one click and it will get reset next thing is the picture style if you click on the picture style there are giving a multiple options over here the oval one the pentagon hexagon like this they have given a options here if you select any of this it will be applied over there next is the picture border if your picture border 
you select just like a red it will be converted to the red so whichever color you take it will be applied to your picture next is the picture effect so they are giving a multiple option pre reset shadow reflection glow soft edges bevel 3d rotation so if, if you want a 3d type of image then you can use this kind of images like this you can use just select it and it will be applied so that is the use of picture effect next one is the picture uh, picture layout if you want to convert your picture into a some uh, table tabular form or something like that now if i'm going to select it like this right now i have a only one image and i have want to give the name to that cartoon if i give a name to that cartoon like xyz then it will be like this so if you insert multiple images and give a name to that uh, image you can give it like this so this is a one way you can use the picture layout so there are multiple options available you can also use this one you can also this one so whichever you require you can use like this you can use next one is the position one if you want some uh, change the position so they are giving a nine option over here like this if you have a any content like this copy and if i put over here paste now here you can see i can text wrap that like this now here you can see it is little bit wrap one then top and bottom like this you can move your image if i cut it and i put it paste it here now here you can see it is in between your text so that is a text trap so there is the position available if you want your text on the right hand side and the image on the left hand side you can do that also by using this like this also if you want it in between if you want it on the bottom if you want it on the right like this you can put that means that image is on the left side leftmost position of your page it is in the center it is in the right hand side while doing this uh, alignment it always keeps in mind that the text is surrounded to it next one is the text track if you want to insert your image in between your text then you can use the text wrap so if you click over there it will be surrounded like a square one if you want it behind the text it will be behind if you want in front of that so there are options available whichever you like or whichever is suitable for your document you can select it by using this next one if you select it and the alignment now align page and align to the margin so these are the requirement when you use the image next one is the rotate if you want to rotate your image like this 90 degree then again flip vertical or something like that then you can use this now here you can see flip vertical you can see the preview flip horizontal flip vertical so these are the few options available regarding the rotation next is the important thing if you want don't want the uh, this much extra space in your image you can crop that image also just click on the crop and this edges will come just drag the portion which you don't want so now you can see the gray part is cut and the only part when you press on the outside the only part which is in the color that it will be remain over there now you can see the part is moved in this way you can crop the image next is the height and the width if you want to increase the height of your image just click over there and it will be increased if you want to increase the width then it will increase also so if i have put some uh, aspect ratio to it so in that way the height and width will be adjust so in this way you can 
insert and edit the picture if you want to delete the picture just select that picture you can see all over those dots and press the delete button on your keyboard and it will be deleted so in this way you can insert edit and delete the picture thank you